Yes, so I just woke up. Despite I only got three hours of sleep, I'm feeling pretty good. We are about to get to a firehouse where we will eat our breakfast and after that get to Gold's gym and uh, I get something special for you. So let's get ready. This is the physique. Trying to lean bulk, not put up too much fat while I'm gaining muscle. But yeah, you get a little view on the physique, so. There we go, we are ready to go. Let's get this day rolling. Okay, so here we are with Stanimal. Yeah, we're here yeah, from and, Belgium. Um, yeah, where everything starts. Stanimal, tell us very quickly your story. How you came to the Cape to the States and what happened? Oh, I came here on vacation six years ago for five weeks. <laughs> I just never left. <laughs> and I met this guy, what, three years ago? Yeah. And uh, I just told him a little bit about my story and now he wants to follow my steps. So <laughs> it's funny how we, you know, pass this dream uh, yeah. to move forward the next generation. And being like, and now being in a having the chance and the honor to be able to inspire the next generation so yeah, yeah I'll be looking forward to see you here <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, how, how many pounds of muscle have you put on since you came uh, since I got here well uh, well I got I touched uh, 270 this off season so that would be a hundred pounds because uh, I got here around 165 170 but like yeah just putting in work every year like right now I'm like 233 when I got here like I was about 165 so and you're Lean competing. Weight, like 60, 60 you're competing pounds. in a couple of months in Mr. Yeah. Mr. Olympia. Yeah, ten, just under ten weeks now. The best of the best, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Gonna do uh, to make an impact this year. I got a little surprise for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
We are back at the firehouse. Normal routine. So we got to do some shooting with Stanimal and Sean Roden behind the scenes, so that was epic. Now we will eat with Brian Glynn and Mad Max and uh, the rest of the crew. How old are you now? I'm 2021, next month. When I get tired or later in the day, it's probably three small. Okay, so we are currently in the car going to a place and we will go on board on something that a lot of people don't get to experience. So, super excited about that. And we are here in the car with Brian Glynn, the lawyer, and Herman. And uh, yes, the crew. So, uh, let's go. Oh, oh. The only problem we have is that Mr. Glynn is not going to be allowed to get on board. Yeah, come on. That's there you go, there you go, there you go. This is Reagan. This is it. We are about this is the captain we are about to board the planes right now. Get it. Time to make some big changes in the world. This bill that President Reagan felt really strongly that this office should be exactly as it existed in Washington, D.C. It did not allow for the ceiling, so they had to dig this part out. Story? Yeah. Sure. Okay, turn around and look in here. We got this it. is the communication center of the airplane. You make a telephone call any place in the world. That was really high tech stuff. Also, they have bowling alleys and swimming pools. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're on Air Force One. Jag kan inte tala norsk, men jag kan tala lite svenska. Hej då. Thanks. Thanks for coming and seeing us. in California. That's it. Yeah. Time to eat.
we finally got home. This day was one epic day. I'm uh, ready to hit the bed now, so uh, probably gonna just the edit for 30 minutes and go to bed so the clock is currently what is the clock you know 21 50 we'll hit uh, the bed and uh, wake up early tomorrow so uh, thank you for following along i hope you uh, enjoyed today's video let's get to bed and uh, gg